What's the first social media application you open when you're having a bad day? Or when you just got promoted? Or you're there to look for the latest updates on actors dissing each other? Twitter has been the go-to application for people to share their thoughts. Twitter was once owned by Jack Dorsey and for today's video, we'll be getting to know him and his insane life. Welcome to Socialux. Our goal is to provide you with a dose of luxury, travel, houses, cars, and stories of successful people so you can be inspired to live an abundant, beautiful, and successful life. We upload videos weekly. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and feel free to comment any questions you may have down below. Enjoy. Who is Jack Dorsey? Jack is most recognized for being the former CEO and co-founder of Twitter. He developed the original concept for Twitter while an undergraduate at NYU and ultimately dropped out of school one semester before graduating. He had just turned 29 when the Twitter first went live in March 2006. Additionally, he co-founded Square, whose device enables mobile debit and credit card payments and serves as its CEO at the moment. In October 2015, when Square went public, Dorsey controlled 24.4% of the business. His net worth is currently a little over $5 billion. However, he only hit billionaire status for the first time in 2012. Given his fortune, one might assume that Dorsey leads a luxurious life. But this is probably not the case. Although Dorsey has a pretty bizarre existence, let's start with the fundamentals. Jack's Residence Jack has been residing in a $10 million San Francisco mansion with two bedrooms and two bathrooms since 2012. At least a million dollars would be spent just on the view. His house is perched on a cliff with a clear view of the Golden Gate Bridge. When Dorsey made the decision to grow his real estate holdings, he didn't look very far. In actuality, he acquired the home next door. The five-bedroom, three-bathroom estate with breathtaking views of the San Francisco Bay was purchased by Jack in late 2018 for $21.9 million. The house required some renovation because it had been abandoned for 15 years. For upgrades, he has already shelled out hundreds of thousands of dollars. The most opulent component of his lifestyle is arguably where he lives. But let's now examine one of the more contentious features. Dorsey's Eating Habits You might be surprised to learn that Dorsey hardly consumes any of it given that running highly successful digital firms must require a lot of energy. And we all know that energy comes from food. Dorsey adheres to a rigorous intermittent fasting diet. Every day he skips lunch and breakfast, Monday through Thursday, between 6 and 9 o'clock in the evening. He has one supper. He simply drinks water and observes a complete fast from Friday night until Sunday evening. He claims that the first time he attempted it, I was having hallucinations by the third day. But today, he claims that fasting aids in his concentration. Moreover, he claims that eating just one meal a day makes me more efficient. When he does eat, he usually has a protein-like grilled chicken and vegetables for dinner. He only consumes sugar from dark chocolate, mixed berries, or a glass of red wine. In order to determine the most productive fasting plan, Dorsey also experiments constantly. Consequently, his regimen varies, but he has a strong commitment to intermittent fasting. After discussing his diet, let's look at how he spends his day. Morning Routine Every night, Jack sets a goal of going to bed at 10 p.m. and rising between 5.30 and 6.30 a.m. How does he begin his day if he know he skips breakfast? He places a lot of importance on maintaining a steady schedule. He takes a cold shower to start the day. Then he meditates in silence for an hour. He enters his infrared sauna in the evenings and on his days off, spends 15 minutes at temperatures as high as 125 degrees Fahrenheit. 
he'll immediately switch from the heat to his bathtub's 3-minute ice bath, which is set to a temperature of negative 37 degrees Fahrenheit. He can go through this hot and cold cycle 3 times. He also likes drinking roughly 28 ounces of water or a concoction of lemon juice, water, and Himalayan salt before heading out the door. He walks 5 miles to work each of the 3 days he visits the office, which takes him around an hour and 15 minutes. Although he claims that going for a walk makes him feel alive, what about when he gets to work? Work habits. Jack commuted to Twitter's headquarters on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday before working from home the other two days of the week. From approximately 9 a.m. until 2 p.m., he worked there. After that, he moves across the street to the offices in the plaza, where he stays until 6 or 7 p.m. A near-infrared light lighting on him while he works at a standing desk is supposed to boost cellular regeneration and have anti-aging effects. He rides a lift home at the end of the day to eat dinner. A 7-minute workout and a trip to the sauna comes next. He squeezes in up to an additional hour of meditation after which he writes his to-do list for the next day and keeps a reflecting notebook. When he is ready for bed, he puts on an aura ring that tracks his sleep patterns and rate of recuperation. Even doors he requires a break occasionally with such a rigid schedule. Birthday Getaway Evidently, Dorsey can go wherever he wants because he is a millionaire. So it would seem odd that he would choose a 10-day solitary meditation retreat to mark his 46th birthday. Dorsey made the long journey to Myanmar in late 2018 to engage in silent vipassana meditation. The night of his birthday, November 19, marked the start of the 10-day period of solitude. He didn't take many pauses as he meditated every day from 4.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. The use of cell phones and other technology was prohibited, but Jack managed to keep his Apple Watch, which he used to monitor his heart rate, but set on airplane mode. The participants were instructed to maintain complete stillness, silence, and attention to their breathing. Reading, writing, physical contact, and all other forms of communication were severely prohibited during the 10-day period. He was bitten by insects 117 times in the first 10 minutes of their meditation session one night in a cave. It's not everyone's first pick for a vacation, but Dorsey advises it wholeheartedly since it helped him achieve an amazing degree of clarity and focus. So, what can we all take from Jack's crazy way of life? Takeaways from Dorsey's life We can all learn from Dorsey that everyone has a different road to success. You might find Dorsey's lifestyle and his techniques for sharpening your attention and clarity to be too intense, and that's okay. You must ascertain what suits you and your way of life the best. Like Jack, you may create a regular schedule based on your unique objectives and priorities. We do not advise putting your health in danger in order to imitate one successful individual. Like Jack, you can choose your own special path while keeping your individual requirements in mind in order to function at your best. Check out the book, Hatching Twitter, A True Story of Money, Power, Friendship, and Betrayal if you want to learn more about how Jack Dorsey and his three co-founders started Twitter. Nick Milton, a columnist and reporter for the New York Times, wrote the book. He goes into great depths on all of the controversies that surrounded Twitter in its early years. A quote from Jack Dorsey. We'd like to share with you a remarkable quotation from Jack that we discovered while studying his life. The greatest lesson that I learned in all of this is you have to start. Start now, start here, and start small. Keep it simple. Many brilliant ideas never materialize because their creators become overwhelmed and don't know where to start. Jack tells us that getting started is the most crucial step. You don't have to establish a business right now, just keep it straightforward, scale back, and go. Bonus. In fact, 
Jack was fired from his position as CEO of Twitter in 2008, the year the company was founded. He reportedly neglected his major responsibilities in favor of his extracurricular hobbies since he spent too much time on them. He would have conflicts with yoga, sewing, sketching, and other classes, so he would leave work early and arrive at meetings late. But in 2015, he was again appointed CEO. Then, in November 2021, he announced his departure from the role of Twitter's CEO. And that's all for today's video. What part of Jack Dorsey's routine do you find most fascinating? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy everything luxurious, check out our other videos. And if you like them, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Until our next video, see you then.